Well, we have with us today on Expose, the band Blessed Union of Souls. Stay tuned for more of this. We have with us today on Expose, the band Blessed Union of Souls. So stay tuned for more of this on Expose. Good, thank you. We have with us today on Expose, the band Blessed Union of Souls, and they made it to the top 40, and I'm going to get to meet all the members, so let's just go around here. Who's over here? Uh, I'm Elliot, the singer. Okay, everybody knows that. Jeff, guitar. Sounds good. Tony, guitar and bass. All right. CP, keyboards, bass, and harmonica. And what's left? It got to be the drummer. That's me. I'm Eddie. Okay, now you guys, um, you've been through everything. I mean, these guys have done the whole full spectrum of music. They've gone from... I Believe, which is a really deep and intensely emotional song, to songs like Leonardo, which is like totally hip and popping and rocking. So tell me a little bit about who is the main lyricist for Leonardo? Uh, actually, I started him. Um, I finished him up with uh, Jeff and our producer, Moja, who, or 3XL, depending on what day of the week. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, has, he has a bunch of different names. But, uh, but, you know, we just wanted to do something really upbeat and fun. You know what I mean? We just thought it was like a, kind of like a silly song. and. We just ran with it. We just took it in direction. Yeah, whenever I'm in my car and I hear this song come on, I'm like, whoa, I start, you know, speeding. I got to watch out for all the cops because it just makes me feel really happy. Now, <laughs> it, it, do, it totally does. I mean, it totally works. So with that song, I know you guys mentioned Cindy Crawford. I know she was really excited to hear about that. And she even wrote you guys a fan letter. Am I right about that? Yeah, yeah. So, and good. then you can start this whole new concept, fat, or at least push it. Pretty hot and trendy, guys, right? Because they were mentioned in those movies and everything. You look fat. And she's like, what? It's like, no, 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 pretty hot and trendy. So how does it feel to, like, you know, push a concept like that, you know, totally change? what a word's about. Tell me a little bit about that. Ah, uh, it's just all showbiz and marketing, that's all. Well, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say how to... <laughs> wait, wait. I can't say what does it feel like to start a trend because the word's oh, trendy yeah, in there. But in there. yeah, it's like a whole thing. Now, I, th I thought it was pretty hot, pretty hot and tempting. Oh, it is tempting. That's, that's what I heard. <laughs> You're right. I got it all wrong. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's getting me in the wrong direction. You're right. It's tempting, guys. Okay. I should know that sticking around here near Elliot, I should be thinking tempting, right? Okay. Now, what about the fact that you guys went from like something like I believe, which is like really emotional and intense, and then you go into something that's like really, really, you know, popping. So I know you guys were with like Capital before, and they were like interested in you guys doing more of the ballad thing. Now you moved over to V2, and they're a little bit more into that energy thing. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Do you feel like you're going to be going in that direction, where it's a little bit more poppy, or is it going to going to go back to any of those ballads, Elliot, that we all like sit there and cry? I mean, where's it going to go? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's really no telling. I mean, with us, we get in the studio and start writing, and you know, whatever comes out, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you, you st if you start feeling a little depressed, you start doing those I Believe songs. So what was the inspiration behind I Believe? Tell me a little bit about Lisa or whatever's going on. I don't want to get him low. I just want to get like. <laughs> so like, was it something? Was it true? Was it something that was real or? Yeah, it really was. It, you know, it happened some time ago, and it just you know, just one of those things. You hear a melody in your head, and you just write about it, and words come out, and there they are. Now, yeah, with that idea, love is the answer. A lot of that has to do with how like relationships and how society is not always accepting of certain things. So. Did you guys elaborate on maybe what you think like that song did to push it out to a whole different level? How do you think like the public reacted to that and maybe gave it a whole different